So what we need to do is we need to disconnect the crankshaft position sensor so we're not getting any spark. And we need to disconnect the mass module, which I did. I just turned that knob one way, okay? Um, that actually deactivates the fuel pump so we're not gonna be spraying fuel inside the cylinders. And right now, after doing that, we can start disconnecting our spark plug wires. All right, guys, we're gonna start by pulling all these spark plug wires out of there. Um, just be very careful when pulling them. I can try it by hand. Okay, there's one of them. All right. Go. I'm just gonna start pulling all of these guys. The engine is cold. then you should blow out all your spark plug uh, holes before you take out the spark plugs that's what I'm gonna do now and then we're gonna start removing the spark plugs to blow out the holes of the spark plugs you can use uh, compressed air with a blow gun or you know you can use your mouth <laughs> and this is what I did in case of my uh, in case of myself um, and you can also use uh, like they sell those uh, kind of like um, like computer dusters so you can use that as well to blow out your holes using a 5.8 spark plug socket we're gonna start removing the spark plugs And I didn't disconnect the battery because we're gonna be doing the compression test. So the only thing I did is I uh, disconnected the mass uh, module and I disconnected the um, crankshaft position sensor. And we're also gonna look at the uh, condition of the spark plugs. Oh boy, who tightens the spark plugs that tight? What the heck? Are you kidding me? I'm losing faith in people. Seriously. So all of them are broken loose. Now we're gonna take them on, take them out one by one. One. And it looks in a good condition, but it's got either, yeah, that's oil. That's oil on the threads here. Yep, so it's definitely burning oil. So that's oil okay this is what happened to the spark plug I literally removed the socket and this is what happened and this is the auto light garbage spark plugs look it's just cracked right there total garbage there you go buy cheap spark plugs so we're gonna put normal spark plugs on this car. Okay, I'm gonna start removing the second spark plug. Hopefully that one is good. Oh yeah, this one is soaked too. And that smells like oil. And got carbon junk. Let's see if this one broke. Huh? This one didn't break. But I'm still gonna be changing these. I don't like these things. Number three. Oh, 
also oil on the surface. Auto light. These are like the cheapest, worst spark plugs you can put on a Mercedes Benz. What a shame. I'm gonna assume that this distributor is also cheap. So I might be changing that as well. I don't know. I mean, it's it's brand new. I mean, I'm not gonna touch it right now, but I just don't have trust in the Chinese junk or Taiwanese, whichever ones. All right, let's check number four. Yeah, they're all soaked in oil, so I'm assuming my valve stem seals are just bad as well. There could be also piston rings bringing oil in there. So uh, I'm gonna take the rest of these spark plugs out and then we're gonna start doing our compression test. So all of them are identical. They have oil on them. Uh, the electrode is okay, it's not bad, but the fact that this is auto light, I don't like that, I'll be putting Bosch on. Yep. Okay, let's start with cylinder one. Cylinder one connected, fuel pump. Uh, is not gonna work and as well as uh, crankshaft position sensor so we're gonna have no spark or nor um, fuel coming to it cylinder two we have pretty much the same amount like 185 which is great So now we have cylinder three and we have 189 something like that which is good so far they're all pretty much equal that's good One eighty five, great. All right, cylinder number five, we have a hundred, a hundred eighty five. All right, just did the final cylinder. Final cylinder, we have like 175, something like that, you know, so, which is still acceptable. So what you want is you want to make sure that uh, all the cylinders are within like 20 PSI of a difference of each other. So if you have one cylinder 180 and the other cylinder is like 165, that's like 25%, the 25 PSI difference. So you don't want that that's too much so 25 psi is like the limit as far as i remember and uh, as uh, as far as these uh, max limit was like what 10 or 15 psi so that's within limits and right now it's going to be the most fun part so we're going to start pouring a diesel purge inside each one of these cylinders and then later on uh, we're going to let it sit for like 24 hours and then we're going to come back tomorrow we're going to recheck the compression and um yeah we'll see how that goes so you want to make sure you have a clean funnel like this and you want to make sure you have your diesel purge ready you know it says strong medicine for sick diesels but we're gonna make it work on this gasoline engine so this is gonna be my first time using something like this um i know that there are a lot of other you know products that people use like in europe especially you know for uh stuck piston rings uh so as far as this engine, I mean, I'm pretty sure that piston rings are not stuck, but I just want to clean everything around the piston rings. I'm sure there are some, you know, carbon buildup and stuff. So 
I'm gonna pour this into one of the into each cylinder. I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours, and then we're gonna come back. You know, spin the engine with the spark plugs out to blow everything out, and you know, we'll probably just check the uh, compression test again. Do the compression test, and we're gonna see if that made a difference. So yeah. But I'm pretty happy as far as right now with the uh, compression readings. That's a really good sign. All the cylinders are pretty much at the same pressure, so that's great news. So with these engines, they're actually made pretty smart. So you have to make sure you are uh, using a, like a really th like small funnel like this, kind of like long, and uh, you have to push it all the way to that hole because there's another like small hole on the bottom, and it's just made there, so in case there's like oil or something in there, so that junk just like flows down. So right now I have to push this all the way in, and then I can start pouring this diesel purge cool and remember guys after this after doing this you must change the oil because some of that diesel purge is gonna go flow down to the uh, oil itself to the oil pan so anyways cylinder one is ready the same cylinder too okay sit. I'll let them sit next one you're being careful not introduce any dirt anywhere cylinder four cylinder five all right pouring diesel pur purge into the last cylinder So after putting diesel purge in each cylinder, I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. I'm going to cover this up nicely and we're going to go come back tomorrow and we're continue we're going to continue on. So as of right now, the cylinders will be soaking, the piston rings will be soaking and everything and uh, tomorrow we'll come back and uh, we'll finish this job. All right, all the spark plug holes have been covered up. All six cylinders, yeah. See you tomorrow, baby Benz.